So the House GOP members came up with a tax bill that aims to make America great again. But while there's a bunch of stuff to help companies better compete in the global economy, it seems the brunt of the plan falls on the middle class. Maybe it's because no one in Congress is part of the middle class anymore? I don't know. So here are five big tax cuts they're taking away from families. One, no more alimony deduction. Now today, the payer gets a deduction for the alimony paid to the ex-spouse. The fact that there is alimony means there's a big income disparity between the two spouses. Unfortunately, very often, it's the women who make less. So take away the alimony deduction. He's not going to want to pay her as much because he's not going to get a big tax break, and that hurts her. Number two, they want to reduce the mortgage interest deduction on new purchases only. You can deduct interest now on a million dollar loan. Well, they want to take it down to 500000 Now, this may sound like a lot of money, but if you live in states like New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, California, you know that's not true. And three, say goodbye to state and local tax deductions too. Again, they want to take away the federal tax deduction for state and local income taxes and allow a property tax deduction of up to $10,000. But you live in those high property tax states, you're screwed. Four, they want to take away the adoption tax credit, even though many kids need adoption these days and the process is so expensive. Not to mention this smacks the LBGTQ community really hard. And if you have to move to find work, can't deduct those unreimbursed costs anymore either. Now granted, the lobbyists and the tax writers need to rip this thing apart, but Warren Buffett has said many times that raising his taxes on him and his billionaire buddies won't hurt. Maybe we should start to listen to him again. Be sure to follow this whole ongoing debate on thestreet.com.